we're looking at a field of winter rape, it's just come out of the winter, uh, it's a hybrid variety, Taurus. Uh, on the face of it, it looks pretty shocking, but uh, you have to remember that this has just had uh, just come out of the winter and 10 days ago uh, there was a foot of snow cover in this field and uh, it had been frozen uh, for, for a good uh, three months. You'll start to look down a little bit closer at the plants. The initial uh, assumption is that uh, you know, the crop is looking pretty shocking and as a colleague of mine once said to me, um, all seed rape is quite a depressing crop to grow because it does look pretty awful most of the time. But in amongst these plants, you can see here that this plant is actually quite well established. It's got a good root system. Can't actually pull it out of the ground, and uh, it's quite thick, uh, sort of the size of uh, uh, thickness of your thumb. And there's plenty of uh, fresh green material sitting in here, um, looking quite uh, quite happy. So we've got one plant here one plant adjacent to it. We uncover this guy here, there's another plant there. So in a very short space uh, we've got uh, you know, a, a good plant stand. So uh, it looks shocking but I'm convinced that this is, uh, is actually uh, you know, a reasonable crop. This is one of the earlier drill crops planted uh, or drilled towards the end of August into September. It was very dry at the time and the emergence was uh, slow. It was also drilled too deep. The problem we have with the uh, local agronomist, but we've resolved that by sacking the guy. Um, this is now going to receive its first application of nitrogen. We're aiming to put around about uh, 80 to 90 kilograms of nitrogen on this crop in the next few days, although we've actually got rain forecast uh, at the moment, so it might be uh, it might not go on for another week yet. But it's still quite cold here at the moment, and uh, temperatures around uh, uh, 40 degrees at night, going up to double figures during the day. So, in uh, summary, it uh, appears to be a poor looking crop on first inspection, but it's actually quite a good crop if you look at it from a, a, an oilseed rape grower's perspective and perhaps not from a Ministry of, uh, of Agricultural perspective where big is beautiful and you need lots of plants. We could uh, we could go down the road and I could show you some local oilseed rape that's being grown that has got uh, hundreds of plants per metre squared and uh, the guys there will tell you that they've got a fantastic crop but that will yield very little. Um, whereas this crop here, just this patch here, you can see uh, what maybe four, five, six plants in uh, in a square metre, and they'll grow into large plants, branching out and producing lots of pods. And in those pods, there'll be plenty of seed, which is what we're after. So we're not just producing canopy; we're producing um, seed. First impressions are reasonable. Plenty of plants, looking a bit washed out at the moment, but the weather will uh, improve and uh, these plants should pick up, particularly now they've had nitrogen applied, which uh, will give them a boost. Like I say, plenty of plants, not much in the way of disease on the new leaves. Still looking a little bit stressed, but it was only 10 days ago that this was a foot of snow and ice, so to be expected. Look at it again in 10 days' time, and it will be a different crop.